All right, time to do some work on the Samba. My name is Jehu Garcia. I'm a business owner, self-professed engineer, and an overall dreamer. For the past two years, I've been building my dream car, something that retains all the elegance of the classic 50s design, but at the same time, make up the latest the modern technology offers. Now, how do you exactly do that? By making it electric. Follow me on my journey through all the struggles, the challenges, but ultimately the satisfaction of growth and success. As you guys know, uh, classic cars have really, really bad brakes. Usually it's because it's all technology, right? It's uh, drum brakes from the 50s, especially like this one right here, right? And so they, they just don't cut it for modern times. And so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna change that and put disc brakes. That's the stuff that new modern cars have. Suspension. I want the superficial. I want the track. All right, here's what we're replacing them. We're replacing them with two custom made front hubs. These are custom made and milled out of a billet aluminum, right? Of one big chunk of aluminum by Wagons West out in Oregon. Nate is really good with these uh, CNC machines and he designs all of this stuff and he makes all these like super cool aluminum parts and this is super niche right because there's not a lot of these BWs that want to go uh, disc brakes but on the wide five pattern. This allows you to have uh, the original uh, wheels with the car right so a lot of these kits you can buy them and they're cheap, they're a bunch of them, but they usually have like a smaller patterns for you to upgrade to like either uh, Porsche like hooks or something or some other, you know, modern wheels and stuff. And so in order to go with the wide five, you'd have to use an adapter. In this case, they're natively going into that original spindle uh, and they're gonna be awesome because they'll have real wood uh, calipers. Not only do you get disc brakes, but you get this look, which is different than the stock look. It's like a little mini rim inside the original rim. I like it. But he's gonna have to make me the back ones now, because look at this. This is just, this is terrible. Look at, look at this thing. Um, aside from being dirty and stuff. It's an adapter and then this rusted drum there. All right, there we go. Those are the new disc brakes. Let me tell you, it's night and day uh, from the original drum brakes that this thing has. It really stops like a modern car now. I used to have about two inches of travel before the brakes would kick in. Now it's like as soon as you touch them, the, the car starts braking. Um, I want to say it's about half the force, uh, you know, your pedal force that you has to be applied for them to break. So overall, it's a lot easier. It just feels weird, more modern stuff. Dif the level of difficulty was to install those brakes. Uh, it was really easy, except for the for that uh, bearing uh, seat. Yeah, but that's uh, not that's everyone's going to get that. Thing, yeah. right? But other than that, I mean, they just, but other than that, they literally bolt right on. The original. You don't need anything else. He sent us all the stuff that we needed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything. Everything and that we needed. I haven't driven it, but apparently they work really well. All right, let's go for a test drive. Oh, dude. It's Oh, man. I want the superficial. I want the tragic. A kiss without love. I don't get. So I want to thank Nate at Wagon Swiss for letting me use uh, these brakes. This is a brand new product that he brought to market and super simple to install and it makes your ride if you have a type 2 like this pre-63 a whole lot safer. So thank you Nate for that. Check out his website.
thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video. Whoa, look at these These are all Tesla. Tesla batteries. Tesla cells.